Hi everybody, and welcome to this edition of 10 Minute Tips with me, Micah Hoffman from the OSINT Curious Project. This time what we're going to do is we're going to go into username searches. There's a lot of different ways to accomplish this task. I'm going to show you some quick tips and tricks and tools uh, so that you can get the biggest bang out of your time. The first thing we got to do is figure out some kind of username that we're going to be looking up. Now this could be the first portion of an email address like fuzzybunny123 at gmail.com. The fuzzybunny123 would be what I would be looking at for a username or perhaps as in this case on the screen, you have found a social media account like OSINT Curious on the Twitter site and you want to see where else on the internet this user account exists. Now, we could, of course, use uh, some of the Google dorking or DuckDuckGo dorking tips that we have and do things like site colon and then certain sites and then put in the username that we wanted. I'm going to show you some different ways of doing that. But yes, absolutely. A Google dorking, search engine dorking, you can definitely use. For my purposes, I'm going to take that this OSINT curious name and I'm going to put it into gnome.com. Now, gnome.com is a site that uh, allows us to check to see if a given site has or doesn't have a certain username there. So, OSINT Curious, it will go to the most popular sites and then it'll tell you, oh, look, you know, on Etsy, that username is available there. On Facebook, it's not. On YouTube, it's not. From our perspective, what we're looking for is the negative results, places where you cannot sign up for an account with OSINT Curious, because that means that that account probably exists on those websites. So what I would do at this site is I would look for YouTube and Twitter and Quora and Facebook and LinkedIn, and then go to those sites and figure out how to look for that OSINT Curious user. But it gets worse because it's hard to know how you actually look up that user in Facebook or in YouTube. Is it just youtube.com slash the username or is it youtube.com slash users slash the username? It's challenging. Now, that brings up another good point. These tools that we're going to be going over today will generally find usernames where the username is in the URL. Like here we have twitter.com slash OSINT Curious, Instagram.com slash OSINT Curious. The username needs to appear as a valid portion of the URL for these tips today to work. So gnome.com, namecheck.com, they work, but they require you to do extra work in order to succeed. Moving over to Michael Bazell's website or Michael Basil's website, we have uh, his username tools, which are really cool. Again, you just paste in that username that you want, hit populate all, and then when you click on each one of these things, your browser will make the request for OSINT Curious on the Noam site or OSINT Curious on Pipple or OSINT Curious on user Sherlock, and you will open up different windows or your browser will open up different windows and you can go ahead and find information from there. That can be helpful. But it's a little bit slower than what I'd like to do. Because some of these sites like Gravatar, Tinder, and Instagram, those you can really easily go ahead and uh, submit just the username to itself and get good responses back. So let's take a look at how we can take that OSINT curious name and find things quickly. Now on my, this is a Linux system here today because I have some of these Python projects. It was just easier for me to install uh, Python on the Linux box. We've got three projects here, Recon NG, Sherlock, and What's My Name. Each of these projects can help us in some degree. Yes, we have Spiderfoot 2, but we're not going to go over that project today. We'll do it in another, pro in another uh, segment. So, Recon NG has a module that I wrote that pulls information from the What's My Name project. If I go into What's My Name project and I look at the JSON file, there's a file here that knows the name of a website, 
how to ch what URL to pass to the distant website, and then where to substitute whatever username you want in the URL. So here in our case, it would substitute HTTPS colon slash slash nine gag dot com slash you slash osync curious, and then see if the response from the server is at 200 and has this content in the response coming back. If it does, then that account probably exists over there and it'll show you. Now, the What's My Name project does have a tool that comes with it. I do not suggest that you use this tool. It is very slow and not as great as some of the other projects that we have. So Recon NG is very fast. We're going to do Recon NG, no analytics, which I'll cover in another video. And we run it. Now, first thing we're going to need to do is segment our data. So we're going to create a workspace. In the workspace, we're going to add um, OSINT Curious. That's our target. Now you can see the prompt has changed from to uh, OSINT Curious there. We're going to use the profiler module. And now we're going to add to the profiles table uh, the username OSINT Curious. So add profiles. It says what username do you want? Well, I'm going to put in there OSINT Curious. And I'm just going to hit enter for these other ones because I don't care about it. Now, let's go ahead and show what's currently in the profiles table. And we see that there's only one entry there, the one we just created. Now, when I type run here, what's going to happen is ReconNG goes out to the GitHub project for the What's My Name project and will retrieve the information um, of all the latest sites that it, that that project has in it and then it will start making requests. And it makes those requests from your local system. We also see that we found one site here, that Twitter site with OSINT Curious. And if we show profiles again, we see that now instead of row ID one, we have row ID two, and we see the Twitter, here's the URL, and we can just go there. That's not that great. Let's go ahead and look up another user. Let's use myself. So I'm gonna add profiles, web breacher, going to add those in there. That's the shortcut way. We're going to delete um, profiles. We're going to delete the second row. So now we just have web breacher in there. Now when I run it, you see all of these other requests are being made and different accounts are coming back. Now keep in mind, these requests are being made from my current computer using my VPN or proxy or web filter, whatever's happening inside my organization. You need to understand that because some of the sites that are checked could be uh, pornogra pornography sites or fetish sites that you might not want to check from your corporate network. So always make sure that you know where you're making the request from. There you go. So here's a whole bunch of, of URLs that now I just have to go ahead and right click on and open them in a window. And here's different categories. So Recon NG, pretty fast using the profiler module. We're going to exit out of that and check out the other project called Sherlock, which does a very, very similar thing. This is um, by the Yaha, the Yaya, sorry, uh, which is a, an Iranian project or Iranian user account over on GitHub. And it does the same type of thing. I'm going to remove this old stuff that I have. And if I use Python now, you do need to use Python 3.6 or more recent, 3.6 or 3.7 for this to work. If you don't, here's what will happen. Oh, you get this invalid syntax. But I always like to RTFM, um, read the funny manual and figure out why this is working. So if we go and look at, we do a more of readme. Here we see that it does need Python 3.6 or greater. And on my system, oh, on my system, the default Python is 2.7. So if I go ahead and do Python 3, now I'm up to 3.6, so that should work. So Python 3, Sherlock, and now I don't get that error. Okay, so Sherlock has a whole bunch of options. I'm running out of time here, so I'm just going to go ahead and do Web Breacher in there. 
and it will go ahead and make all of these requests very, very similar to what you found in the What's My Name project. And it will give you the results in a text file or CSV file, depending on how you've configured it to work. All right. So again, these are only going to give you the sites that have the username in the URL, but it can get you farther a lot faster than you trying to find these yourself. Both of those projects or all of those projects are free tools that are out there, whether it's Recon NG, What's My Name, or the Sherlock, or just Sherlock. And I will put links to all of those in the show notes here. So I am running out of time, and I wanted to say thank you for being OSINT Curious. I've been Micah Hoffman, and until next time, 